man. Let's just call it for what it is, man. You got a bunch of people out there that love to play devil's advocate, and all they want to do is to spark some type of provoke in hopes of getting a reaction from you. You know, one of these days, I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm going to take my foot and shove it straight up there. Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill Pepper said. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Milton Everson, coming back with another sneaker review. Today, we have the Yeezy 350 Linens, and quite frankly, man, this shoe is hard to get. I think a lot of people, like myself, were misled into thinking that because the shoe was readily available at so many different foot sites, um, boutique stores, and stuff like that online, I think we anticipated a, like a massive GR release, but it was... Honestly, the, the opposite. It was quite frankly the opposite. And what happened was the night before the release, I did a little research on this shoe because I like to make sure that I'm better prepared when I try to cop shoes, whether we think it's GR or not. Um, and I came across a couple articles that actually revealed that the shoe was limited. So, for instance, when it came time for Yeezy Supply and I think Adidas to release around 10 o'clock Saturday last week, uh, what happened was, when I say last week, I think today, what is April 23rd, so the Saturday before. Uh, what happened was, I think from what I understand, based off the rumors, Yeezy Supply only had 5,000 pairs that they were releasing on their site, and Adidas was something similar to it. So it was like, your chances of actually getting the shoe around 10 o'clock decreased. If you went 9 o'clock, maybe you had a better chance. But it wasn't a lot of pairs available, even at Foot Locker or any other foot sites that were carrying this shoe. So sometimes, again, we, we see that whole, I think we get tricked. We, we assume that because it's available in so many different locations, it's going to be an easy cop. But then we forget sometimes that we don't know how many pairs, we don't have a manifest, so we can't keep track of who gets what in terms of the amount of pairs. <clears throat> so it makes it hard to determine who has what. So I just so happen to get lucky through Foot Locker. And Foot Locker, shout out to you guys because now I'm starting to gain a little bit more trust. It wasn't really a feud between you and I, but it, you know, ever since that whole Jordan Concord release, the restock, and I thought that I was going to get a pair, and, you know, this whole thing happened. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> so, you know, it kind of sucked. It, it kind of sucked. But getting back to the Lennon shoe, for those that don't know, I think that, Kanye West is keeping that whole biblical trend where the Yeezy linen, which technically kind of means purity, right? It's somewhere along the lines of there. So I think he's still continuing that whole biblical naming convention. Linen, not linen as in like linen cloth, but linen as in purity. <clears throat> so I think that this shoe, from what I saw, is dope. But from what people were telling me, the ones that were able to get their pairs... Like it's, you're better off getting the shoe in hand because it's completely different from what you're seeing online. And sometimes that experience does happen a lot. So without further ado, I will be using the Desert Sage as an example because it had that reflective stripe and the Yeezy Sender 350 Reflective. This is the reflective uh, pair that was also like, you know what, just to get. So let's just get the box open real quick. Straight from Foot Locker. I'll put this on this side so you know my dress ain't showing you know it's kind of weird but <coughs> hopefully you're seeing this video in time because the yeezy 700 mn vn uh, i think it was the phosphorus releases tomorrow which is on a friday so i know we're accustomed to seeing yeezy releases on saturday so hopefully when you're watching this you're watching this before and you're not thinking that those yeezy 700 uh and m and vns will be releasing on saturday it's actually friday <coughs> saturday will be the fear of gods and quite frankly i don't think that's a shoe that i'm gonna go after but hey it is what it is so right off the bat looks like Foot Locker sent oh use promo codes on your next purchase for 125 dollars blah 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 or over um so save 25% over anything, $125. And of course you got the fine prick basically just telling you like, you can't use this on brand new shoes. So <laughs> let me just get this thing open up. Uh, I am very, very, very intrigued. And keep in mind, if you're keeping track of the Yeezy 350s that have the reflective stripe, I think the first one was the Marsh um, that I used to have. I don't have that no longer. The second one was the Desert Sage, 
And then you have the sender reflectives, and now you have the linens, which also does. And people have confirmed that it is reflective. And of course, we will do the on feed. We will do the uh, the review in terms of the whole. You'll see it through the reflection. And actually, after the on feed, I'll give you my opinion about what I think of the shoe. And quite frankly, I think it's good. I think it's good. said that this was a chick shoe uh, i beg to differ now and looking at these let me put this over here and looking at these easy 350 linens this is a clean cut shoe it is very clean this is actually the first time and me just looking at this this is the first time i'm seeing a, a yeezy reflective stripe that matches the sock liner so the, it's kind of like a baby bluish color but the sock light on the inside, and I think the insole, if I'm not mistaken, is probably likely, yes, it is blue as well. So, your typical Yeezy 350 linen insole, but the contrast with the shoe, I mean, this is um, this is like a creamish, and this is natural light, so I'm going to try to look at it. Yeah, this looks like a creamish slash baby blue combination. And what makes this shoe pop is the fact that when you look at the midsole and you look at the gum bottoms, like the, the, the colorway is just, it's ridiculous. This is amazing. I can't believe this. Um, <laughs> I'm like at a loss for words because we're so accustomed to seeing the Yeezy reflective stripes, right? So let me pull out the Desert Sage. So the Desert Sage, it looks like this, right? It has a gray stripe with a orange colorway for the sock liner. And then you move on to the Sender 350s with the reflective, of course the reflective stripe is also gray, but it has like that charcoal black sock liner. They decided, and this is the first time to my knowledge that I've ever seen a Yeezy 350 where the, the actual sock liner matches the reflective stripe. That's a, uh, it's very interesting. And don't forget, let me uh, get the box out to always check your shoes. I mean, this is from Foot Locker, so it already has their special tracking system with their tags on there. In the addition to the actual Adidas, you can see right there, size 13, linen, linen, linen. It looks like the art code is FY5158. Make sure, you know, the whole tag, everything is matching. And uh, please avoid fakes if possible if possible but getting back to the shoe like i said this is a dope colorway because of the fact that the way that they it's not various colors on the upper prime knit right so it, it is basically one color that features that blue baby blue stripe with the baby blue sock liner and it just it blends in well with the gums the gum bottoms as well as the midsole and you can kind of see it faded out because <clears throat> it, it's, it's darker kind of like uh towards the uh the in between the the upper and the uh the midsole and then it just you can see like the yeezy boost in be, in between like this is amazing man oh this is like different this is completely different from what i'm seeing in most yeezys but this one is gonna pop when it comes summertime if everything is is okay which i highly doubt it <laughs> but, but summertime this is a good summer shoe this is a great summer shoe this will definitely pop out and again i'm looking at this from a natural light standpoint that this is amazing this is amazing so your boy magnificent uh let's do the on feet because i can't wait to put this on and, and see what it looks like and then we'll also see it um with the reflection on um live live sort of little video and i hopefully will be back tomorrow um again tomorrow ooh, i want to say seven o'clock is when the first set of easy 700 phosph phosphorus MNN VN shoes will release, and then you have possibly a 10 o'clock release on Yeezy Supply. It's definitely confirmed a 10 o'clock release on Foot Locker. So for this shoe, just I wouldn't even sleep on this as well. Just like we slept on this, don't sleep on that shoe as well. Your boy Monday percent, I am out. I mean, I don't I don't know what to tell y'all guys, but this this shoe again, Yeezy Linens. Kanye, you, you kind of you, you did well with this. I I remember seeing the first versions of this, and I was kind of like skeptical. 
But seeing this up close and personal kind of changed my mind and my perception and what I thought about this Yeezy 350 linen shoe. Um, if you were able to cop, obviously, in my opinion, this is a good hold because, again, there weren't that many pairs made. And if you get a pair, keep your pair. If you want to wear your pair, wear your pair. If you want a quick flip, now is a quick flip. But do I see these things going down below 260, 270? Heck no. I was going to say something else, but, you know. <laughs> your boy building episode. I'm out. Let's just get to that on feet, and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So that Yeezy 350 honestly is a very clean shoe. Um, I do recommend a half size up. Uh, a lot of people do ask me about that, but quite frankly, definitely go a half size up if you can. It's not too narrow, but for people that have wide feet, um, I highly do suggest you go a half size up if you're able to acquire this shoe or any other Yeezy 350. I think the new Yeezy 350 that's supposed to come out is the Zions, the next one. So, you know, I would try to acquire that shoe, but that tell for what I'm understanding, that might be another limited shoe. Just take that with a grain of salt. Just be prepared. So if you're taking L's, trust me, at some point I'm gonna take an L and I feel like it could be tomorrow. Could very well be tomorrow. So your boy Monificent, I am out. Hopefully, if you see me put a live video up tomorrow, maybe I get it, maybe I don't. We shall see. It's Friday. I'm not accustomed to, or I'm not used to actually copping a shoe on a Friday. Usually I get it on a Saturday, so I'm well prepared, but Friday's going to be kind of tricky. So but we'll see. Your boy, my I'm out. You guys stay blessed.